Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today will be another DIY video. In this video, I would like to show you what I have made and it is very useful, well, for me because I needed that, what I have created for a while and it is kind of in a rustic farmhouse style. I hope you guys is, uh, will enjoy it as much as I did because I think it turned out beautiful. So, if you would like to know what I have made, please continue watching. Okay, so I went outside and I wood stained both of my pieces and I left it there for, I don't know, half a day to dry. It was kind of dry by the time I was done, but uh, just to be safe. So that's all I did on that little table outside my house. Okay guys, so my wood dried and this is I think it turned out pretty cool. I like the stain of it a lot. It's like kind of dark wood. So I'm not gonna assemble it together. First I want to do some stencils on this. So what I'll do, I want to do this like a, kind of like this. This stencil on the bottom. And I'm gonna use for it, uh, Waverly chalk paint in white. I hope it's focusing. Well, oh, you know what it is. And then inside of it, I want to do something else. So we'll see. Kind of want to make my raccoon in there. So. Okay. Maybe I'll just do it this way. Okay, I like how it turned out. It's pretty cool crown, right? So now, we'll see if I can really mess it up because desperately want this little raccoon in here. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stencil it right here. Okay, this is how it turned out. I think it's super cute. 
and since this piece of wood already came with the hook then I'm gonna place it just right here so what I'll do I'll use my Gorilla Glue for wood there you go and I'm gonna set a few things on the sides so it will pressure it and then tomorrow morning I'll leave it for 24 hours I will paint this part with the polycrylic water-based protective finish because I kind of wanted to you know it's a chalk paint so don't really want it I'm not expecting it to get wet but who knows you know so I'm gonna mod podge it first and then I'm gonna use this so for now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use my Gorilla Glue to glue this thing right in the middle Well, that was all for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I love how this paper plate holder turned out and my little addition with the crown and raccoon inside. Can you tell me what it is? Oh, for me, it is a rocket raccoon. Do you know what movie he was featured in? If you did, leave me a comment. I would like to know if you know, I know. Anyway, I will insert the pictures on the wall after my husband hangs it so you will see it in use but for now I did uh, put the Mod Podge on it and I did wax that with uh, the wax that I have showed you in the video but otherwise I think it's gonna be very handy and I like this rustic farmhouse style so I'm really excited how it turned out but this is all for today I hope you guys enjoyed it if you one of my new people please let me know in the comments below so I can welcome you to the family and if you're one of my returning thank you so much for coming back and showing me your support love you guys very much and I will see you in the next one real soon bye